Hey guys, it's Aiden Foster. Today I'm going to be doing a similar video to the last one. This one will be a tutorial on how to make a fork bomb. What a fork bomb is, is a batch file, which batches MS-DOS, which is the oldest form of programming that I know of at least. <clears throat> what this batch file does is opens itself repeatedly in the loop forever, well, until your system crashes and shuts down. This isn't harmful, it just will really piss off whoever you're doing it to. So what you're going to need is the same thing as last time, text editor, preferably just Windows Notepad, and the batch file code. So we're going to start off with most, most batch files, we'll start off with at echo off or add echo whatever you want. Uh, you have to keep it off for this one, but it doesn't matter. Colon start start example dot that. Where I have example dot that, you can call it anything, but it has to be the same name as you're going to save your file. So I guess I'll name mine tutorial. Um, then you go, go to, start. So I'm going to explain this as usual. This just means that it doesn't show what you're saying here. This is what this goes to. It goes here and then does that again. And this is what it's doing. It's starting this file over and over again. So what we're going to do now is save it, save it as whatever your name was, and it has to be dot .bat, so tutorial dot .bat. Um, even though it would be for educational purposes, I'm not going to open this file. I'm just going to let you guys experiment and do it on your friends' computers or at school. Um, that's about it. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you'd like more videos like this or any suggestions. If you'd like to see something, you can message me and tell it. But for now, I'm going to go. Thanks for watching and goodbye.